thinking about it, and I don't think I've ever been more tired than I am right now in my life. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Holy cow. If you're new here, my name is Philip. I'm a landscape photographer based in the Midwest, and on this channel, we talk about landscapes, photography, and traveling, and how those go together. If you're not new here, welcome back, fam. So, I just finished uh, a sunrise hike up to Ice Lakes, and oh my gosh, my thighs hurt, my butt hurts, my feet hurt, my eyeballs hurt. It all hurts at this point. Uh, <laughs> Ice Lakes is a very, very popular hike in this area. It's up to this uh, beautiful, stunning uh, glacier lake, which is the most beautiful blue lake that I've ever had the pleasure to see in my life. And oh man, so I didn't I didn't shoot a lot of footage obviously because the whole first three hours of my day I was in the dark and by the time I got out there I was so ready to be off the mountain <laughs> that I didn't film a lot on the way back. But you have seen some of the footage, um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Quick little tidbit though, it's 3.8 miles with uh, about 20. 2500 feet of elevation gain so if you're not new to the hiking community you know that this entire hike was straight uphill and uh yeah so i'm actually really glad that i i got on trail at 3 30 in the morning because it got hot on the way down and there was no way i'd want to hike up all that camera gear um so yeah definitely play pays to get up early on some of these hikes so you can get great light in some really uh, more unique locations because um, I don't really see ice lakes a lot on Instagram I mean it's definitely popular because this whole campground there's this long uh, windy dirt road that has a lot of uh, uh, great views and there's free dispersed camping along this whole road because apparently the campground basically uh, is South Mineral Campground is always full from what I'm told um, but either way, uh, came back down and now we're going to go look for some waterfalls because I believe that there's some waterfalls in this area. So let's go check that out. beaten path but uh literally if you just go right south of south mineral campground um you should be able to find uh these waterfalls that i just showed you and man like this is one of the things that i i had to do so much research on because there's no official trail back there you kind of just sort of, like meandering walking around and like if you find uh the creek you should be able to hear the water roaring once you get back there behind the campground and um I'll probably drop here on the map real quick just so you can kind of see what area that you should be looking in. But uh, yeah, super cool. Um, again, like you're pushing off that glacial fed uh, kind of creek. So water's super clear and beautiful. And uh, yeah, just really kind of like blown away by that area. Like I can see why that campground's always full and things like that. And that's usually kind of how it goes is anything cool doesn't really stay secret for very long and it'll get pretty popular and that's just the way it goes. But either way, I'm done with that area. Uh, right now I'm headed north up to Ure, I believe it's called. Uh, put it on the screen. And we're going to go up there, grab something to eat, and see what else we can't get into. There's some waterfalls up there that I'm going to shoot. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you some of this Million Dollar Highway. That is literally what it's called. The Million Dollar Highway that goes up from Durango all the way up to Ure. And it's absolutely stunning.
Okay, so I just drove uh, through Ure. I didn't stop to get any footage, but holy cow, like that million dollar road, like I don't, I, I think it costs more than a million dollars, but the views are seriously like million dollar worthy. Like, oh man, it, if only, I wish I had like come through at a better time, like not right in the middle of the heat of the day. It's like a hundred degrees today here. Uh, but anyways, just stopped real quick um, to grab some food, and I will be back, I'm pretty sure, in uh, Ure in this area in October, so I'm not like super, super worried um, about not shooting here right now, uh, so be on the lookout for that. I am, however, doing some scouting uh, for that for that next trip, because this will be, uh, that'll be like a fall color trip in this area, uh, so what I'm doing is like I went, uh, and I'm here at the Dallas Divide now. Uh, and I'm checking that out and the conditions were okay um, the sunlight is kind of starting to, to dip it's five o'clock sun goes down at eight so we're, we're we're starting to get into that realm of side light with some good depth so I just went and, like took a pano and like just a total cop out there's, there's not really much more that you can do here in all honesty um, just kind of zoom in with the 70 to 200 and just kind of like pick out little details I am going to go check out the last dollar road which I also heard is uh, really good for fall color so uh, let's go kind of sum up the last dollar road pretty epic honestly there's so much potential out there i mean always you could shoot out there but specifically during the fall when we're planning on going back definitely excited to do some shooting out there um my biggest advice is if you do not have a high clearance vehicle uh like myself i would not drive the whole road let me save you a little bit of trouble and that uh, the whole middle section, I guess you want to call it, is super bumpy. Uh, it's a super bumpy one-lane road. Uh, definitely not the best to bring my vehicle down. But I made that mistake already, so now you don't have to. But, uh, so if you, if you are driving in a low-clearance vehicle like mine, what you can do is if you take the Deep Creek Road from the uh, Telluride side of the mountain you can get up pretty high and pretty far and like have a great view on a nice well-maintained road and also um, if you're coming from Ure and you uh, GPS last dollar road it'll take you um, to a big ranch uh, outcropping you'll see like a lot of fences and things like that and that would be a good place to stop and turn around before you kind of run into some pretty sketchy roads I'm not gonna lie but uh, other than that, pretty cool. Uh, definitely worth doing. Like I said, uh, just bring the proper vehicle. I think I remember too seeing that you could rent uh, Jeeps in Ure. But um, so now I am uh, headed into Telluride to finally go shoot Bridal Veil Falls, and that is where I will ask you that if you liked this video and found it useful leave a like if you have any questions about this trip drop them down below in the comment section i'll get back to you and if you have not subscribed yet like i said i'm going to bridal veil falls in the morning and uh lots of educational just all sorts of educational uh content coming up on the channel here pretty soon so and as always thanks for watching Thank you.